The University of Mannheim has more than 12,000 students, being one of the biggest universities in Germany. Many of its students eat every day in the university canteen, also known as Mensa am Schloss, as it is the closest and most convenient option they have for their lunch break. The canteen offers different options at cheap prices. Students can choose between three different menus, one of which is vegetarian. In addition, they can choose their own food combination from a buffet, a special daily grill and a wok. But how do students find the food in the canteen? Do they actually like it? Do they think it's healthy enough? Are there any better options for their lunch break? That's exactly what we decided to investigate in this documentary. To start, we placed our camera in the Mensa Hall on a random weekday and we stopped students to ask them some questions about the canteen food. Let's see what they had to say. Around three, I would say. I think about one time per month. I go once a week. Um, I would say once or twice. Uh, I cannot say it's per week, but it's most once a month I eat at Mensa. I mean, I come here more often. I would say like maybe once, maybe twice a week. So I usually take menu too when it has something uh, interesting uh, like a particular cultural dish. Otherwise I go for the vegetarian because it's it's usually healthier for me to eat that one. I always eat a vegetarian one because I just don't like fish or like the meat in the mensa, I just don't like it. Usually I go either for menu one or for the vegetarian option. Just which one I like more. Um, I usually choose menu one or a vegetarian set because um, I think it's easier just to choose the, the set and it's cheaper than picking the ingre ingredients yourself. Um, I usually eat wok because I guess it's the best one. The others doesn't seem good, they don't smell good, so I usually eat wok. Um, actually, like at my bachelor university, I like the Mensa food way better. So here, yeah, I'm a little bit disappointed. I would go for four. Then yeah, probably two or three. I'm not satisfied at all. I normally eat at home. Yeah, I cook my own food at home. Um, usually, I eat at home. Or I go to um, Cafe Novos or Asteca. Uh, if I'm in the I usually just go to EO. I usually cook at home because my home is so close to here, so I prefer to eat at home. For me, it's the same. Four. Yeah, I don't think that healthy. Like if I would rank it, maybe a three or four. They do offer salad and vegetables but it's not that healthy, I would say. This, uh, the food in Manta is really salty to me, so I, yeah, it's just too salty for me and I don't think it's really healthy. Uh, I mean, it doesn't seem so healthy. For example, if I want to have some salad, they don't uh, look like so clean. I, mean, I don't know. What do you think? I mean, it's not uh, as healthy as eating uh, at home, but uh, apart from that, uh, it's not uh, yeah, worse than other options outside. Uh, I would say five on a scale from one to seven. Like I also eat non-healthy food, but I try to eat each time a little bit of vegetables or an apple or banana. I would say like 3.5 or four. Um, I try to give my best, uh, but like there are phases in my life, uh, the exams phase where I really uh, eat unhealthy, but like other than that, I put some effort in it. Like I would say five um, in general. It's very important. I would say six out of seven. If I can, I try to eat healthy, so maybe also five. I think the concept of eating healthy is really important, but I just. 
sometimes don't have time to really prepare the healthy food yourself. So I would say um, it's important to me, but I don't really eat that healthy. Well, to make it healthier, I would use different ingredients and less sauces, maybe. Oh, it's a hard question. Yeah, maybe like for the soup or salad to have a little bit more of a variation. Yeah, and such, and um, offer more vegetables or like apple and such stuff. I would cancel the soup because it's way too salty. So we won't need that one. And maybe add another vegetable instead. Um, Salty. Yeah. There must be more good options, I guess. Also, maybe they can organize uh, some weeks for only healthy foods or for only vegan foods. I don't know. After hearing these first opinions about the food in the canteen, we decided to conduct a survey in order to see if the opinions we heard are shared by most of the students in the university. We've been able to collect opinions from 50 other students. Let's have a look at the results. We found out that half of the students eat in the canteen once or twice a week. Surprisingly enough, the vegetarian menu is the favorite option of these students, followed by menu 1 and menu 2. Students seem to choose their food in Mensa according to two main criteria: taste and healthiness. And this is also what students would like to change about the food in the canteen. When they don't eat in the canteen, their favorite alternative is cooking their own food, followed by fast options such as sandwiches, kebabs and salads. On a scale from 1 to 7, more than half of the students think the healthiness of the food is worth less than three. But these same students also consider eating healthy very important, giving scores above five. These confirmed our initial idea that students would like to eat healthier at university, but they cannot do it with the current offer. What they need is to know how and where they can eat healthy. In order to know this, we contacted Charlotte Werner, an expert in nutritionism who works at the Institut für Sport in the University of Mannheim. I basically think that students uh, need to have a balanced diet, so eat a lot of healthy carbs, healthy proteins, healthy fats. A general recommendation on how to eat healthier is basically to try to eat on a regular basis and also um, to reduce any um, unhealthy fats or unhealthy carbs, fast food of course. Most of uh, the students in Mannheim already eat very healthy, so we have some nutrition sessions where we can always get in touch with the students and get some feedback and what they want to know most is how to even eat healthier, how to optimize their health plans and um, sometimes we have a total, um, total differences. So for like there's one group that already knows how to eat healthy and they really eat really healthy and then there's the other group who um, just uh, moved out for, the, for, for studying here and they haven't uh, any clue about how to eat healthy. I think for many people um, becoming a vegetarian or vegan is not a trend but it's a lifestyle or even a form of statement because they do care about the environment, about the animal, the animal protection and I think um, that this is also a positive effect because most of those people also turn to clean eating which means that you only eat food that is not processed yet, that has not been processed yet so um, and uh, this also is something that is really healthy because you do not have any um, industrial steps with the food and you have the food in its like original um, state, like you used to eat it. 
What is also a basic question here for many students is um, how to provide a healthy nutrition to their full timetables. So what are healthy snacks and um, how can you just uh, eat healthy during your studies, during being in the, uh, in the library and yeah, rushing from one lecture to another and how they um, can be able to still eat healthy. As a first solution to promote healthy food in the canteen, we thought about introducing a healthy menu in Mensa. The menu would be a composition of food that students can find in a special section of the buffet and that will be offered at a discounted price. The food offered will be nutritionally balanced and will have a fair calories intake. What is optimal about this option is that the healthy menu will be a combination of food already offered in the canteen. In this way, no extra food needs to be bought and cooked, thus avoiding any waste of resources. The student will be able to choose proteins which will be weighted at 70 cents per 100 grams instead of the current price of 90 cents. And by following our idea, the healthy menu could be discounted from 4 euro 80 to 3 euro and 50, thus making the consumption of healthy food a more affordable option for any student. We also asked Ms. Werner a professional opinion on our idea. I think it's a very good idea because um, it's always important to provide a balanced menu, for example, with um, healthy proteins, healthy carbs and healthy um, fibers, of course. And, uh, yeah, so I would support this. As a second solution, we considered the idea of organizing informative sessions for students of the university, where a professional nutritionist could provide basic instruction on how to respect a balanced diet. The sessions would be free of charge and would be held twice a semester. We proposed the idea to Ms. Werner. I think providing students with information in sessions as well is a good idea. So we did this in the past and um, unfortunately there were some um, appointments where there was not that many interested people coming but I think that in general if you try to do this on a regular basis it's actually really good because people can inform and I think that maybe students who are now studying here will be more intrigued with healthy food so it's of course always a good idea to start this again and again. It's always a bit of a problem of manpower of course so um, we have some restrictions here at the, at the uh, institute that has something to do with the uh, payment and stuff like this. So it's always, it depends on um, how we have uh, access to people who are qualified enough to give these nutrition sessions. But um, if this is like no problem, of course, we would support this. We offer currently uh, nutrition sessions already. So there is no, I mean, there's like always room for providing more. <laughs> As a next solution, we came up with the idea of promoting students' discounts in healthy food restaurants close to university. We walked in the surroundings of the university campus and we identified two possible candidates for our solution. We talked first with Alexander Britting, the owner of Burrito Baby, a restaurant in D4 offering vegan bio-Mexican food. There was, there was a big part that we, that we, we, we had to choose a city as well um, where many students are um, because students are like, yeah, they, they like fresh food, they are open to new things um, because they are connected with um, Instagram, with um, Facebook, with WhatsApp and all these kind of um, things. So it's like, um, yeah, vegan is... Um, Vegan means no dairy. No dairy. Dairy is everything from animals mm -hmm. somehow, or mm -hmm. dairy is everything to you, like milk and mm -hmm. stuff, like cheese. Oh, when we are just vegetarian and, 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 and vegan as well, then it's, it's really important that it's fresh. And that's why we say yes, we, we make everything on our own. We cut the, the, every day we grind the cheese with a cheese grinder, and we cut the lettuce, and we cut all the um, ingredients like you know, peppers, zucchini, and lime juice, we make it hand and with the, with the hand. Maybe these um, people who are a little bit more thinking about what they eat mm -hmm. um, and um, who have this kind of healthy attitude to, to themselves. Our generation thinks about food more, I think, or um, 
about where is the origin of something, where does come, something coming from. Because of the internet, um, um, there's a, a little bit like a mind change um, going on. That's why we think, or we um, I think everyone thinks about a little bit more like nowadays, where does the stuff come from, what I can buy in the supermarket somehow. Um, yes, we try. We try to um, change the, like the menu and the lunch time for um, not only for students, even for other people to compare things. So you know, maybe we have a burrito with a, um, a drink for one price. That makes it more easy to choose things. Um, and because the the way to the university is really really short, we thought maybe um, it's um, it's a nice um, offer we can um, give to the, the students here in Mannheim. Um, to introduce our food to them. I like Mexican food and if you, you're interested in um, healthy, nutritious, big burritos, um, then join us on Thursdays, maybe in a student day or even during the week. I think we are all happy um, to see you. When they're doing for three days, four days, nothing at all. Later we talked with Dorothee Schneider, the owner of Vogelfrei, a café opened in 2012 in C3 in Quadrate. The café is famous for its vegan delicacies and offers a unique environment where customers can easily relax. Dorothee opened this café because she wanted to share her idea of healthy vegan food with others. The offer includes easy, light, salty food like quiches, pizza, pasta and soups and comforting sweet food such as cakes, cookies, cupcakes and dampfnudeln. She started this business because she wanted to open a place she would like to go to herself. The customers are pretty mixed, but the majority are women between 25 and 45. Vogelfrei highly values sustainable activities in the city of Mannheim and is involved in many of them, such as Kleidertauschparty, Amnesty International Filmabende and Diskussionsrunde. Dorothee thinks that the awareness of healthy food consumption has increased more and more over the years, especially among younger people. That's why she thinks Mensa should adapt to this trend and start offering more seasonal and local food and less oven-ready meals. Vogelfrei also wants to promote healthy food among students. That's why Dorothee already offers student discounts on special days. As our last idea, we thought of introducing common microwaves around the campus, so that students can warm up the food they take with them for their lunch break. We identified three possible locations for the microwaves. They could be placed inside EO in the dining hall, inside campus shop, or in common study rooms, like the study hall S0009. After explaining our idea, we recorded the reaction of some students to see what they think about it. I like to cook my own food and bring it to university to, to eat it, but I always have to eat it cold because there's no place to heat it up. So I would really like a microwave on campus. When I was then I found out that I'm actually intolerant to gluten. So basically I cannot eat food like pasta or I don't know, pizza, bread. Any, basically anything that contains actually flour in it. So what I do is I prepare my food at home and then I bring it to university and I eat it there. So I think the idea of bringing my crush to university, to the campus at least, would be really, really good for me so that I can eat food at work. The goal of this project is to provide potential solutions for students to eat healthy at the campus while enjoying meals on budget. Changes need to be made inside the university, but solutions can be also found outside of campus. We believe that offering a discounted healthy menu, placing microwaves around campus, introducing informative sessions with a nutritionist and promoting students' discounts in restaurants would improve the eating habits of students. Healthy food consumption among young people is an important issue that all institutions should address nowadays. The University of Mannheim as an educational institution should consider it one of its first priorities because healthy food means happy students. <laughs>